But fish have got into the poison game as well. The stingray has a barbed, toxic hook in its tail. It won't kill you. But they do tend to gang up. The beautiful lionfish moves with supreme confidence. It can afford to. It has poisonous barbs in its dorsal spines. But the nastiest of them all also happens to be the ugliest. The stonefish sits and waits for its meal. It has three spines on its back that can puncture the soles of your shoes. So excruciating is the jab that desperate victims have been seen trying to cut their own foot off to stem the pain. But let's get away from the hazards of the oceans and head somewhere much, much safer. Ah, a benign English woodland. Tranquility at last. No bears here, no wolves. The only creature that could possibly hurt you is an adder, and there aren't any about. So relax. There's simply nothing here to worry you. At first glance, that is. The true masters of deadly deterrence aren't jellyfish, or the fish under the seas. The real maestros are the plants. They can't run away, so they use some of the most dangerous natural substances in the world. A stinging nettle. The word nettle is believed to come from an ancient language meaning needle. And under the leaves, a thousand tiny evil pricks are waiting. When a hand comes into contact with them, they break off, releasing a tiny amount of venom, not unlike ant venom. They're trying to stop animals feeding on them and are so effective that nettles regularly conquer areas where other plants would quickly be eaten. Bidding for the same patch of sunlight is one of the most beautiful European flowers. The foxglove. Old tales tell of elves giving the flowers to foxes to slip on their paws so that, with muffled feet, they could steal chickens from farmers. But a more apt name for the foxglove would be die heart attack style flowers. This plant produces a cocktail of chemicals that have serious cardiac implications. Soon after eating its leaves, you'd feel your pulse slowing and you'd get dizzy as your blood pressure dropped. Your heart would begin beating irregularly. Shortly after, with your heart leaping about like a fish on rocks, everything would appear blue. Which seems fun, but then, sadly, you die. It's the pretty flowers and their berries that seem to have really made the effort to kill. Deadly nightshade, apparently as innocuous as a bag of potatoes and from the same family. But if enough are eaten, it paralyzes the central nervous system, causing vertigo and delirium, convulsions and then a permanent shade of night inside a coffin. Enter the decomposers. A toadstool surges to the surface, fly agaric, obvious, colorful, deadly. This pixie-preferred fungi, if taken in large enough doses, tends to cause death. Its best friend, or rather its close relative, the death cap, looks nice, even smells nice, and can kill in 24 hours. Both contain a poison called muscarin, which resembles snake venom. The symptoms aren't complicated. Your heart slows and breathing becomes difficult. You sweat like you're in the tropics and your head pounds. After the fever, delirium, you won't even realize you're dead. So don't worry too much about the dangerous animals out there. They don't hold a candle to the flowers. One among this deadly crop of vegetation is used in the production of a heart drug. 
Is it the foxglove, the death cap or the nettle? Find out after the break.